The wind tunnel studies on a scale model of the twin-engine deck-based fighter jet have been concluded, and the Aeronautical Development Agency is presently carrying out further design improvements and optimization, before the design is frozen after consultation with the Indian Navy. The progress of the TED-BF program is on track, and the development has also started on the wing folding mechanism and a new landing gear system, that can handle the takeoff and landings of the 26-ton TED-BF aircraft. The rollout of the first TED-BF aircraft will happen in the second half of 2025, and the first flight in 2026, while the production has been planned from 2030 onwards. Hindustan Aeronautics will be the main integrator of the TED-BF program, while Tier 2 and Tier 3 private sector suppliers will be in charge of providing a wide range of systems and subsystems including fuselage, while public undertaking companies will be in charge of supplying other critical equipment like avionics sensors and radars, that are currently being developed for the Tejas Mark II and AMCA program. In a very significant development, the BrahMos Aerospace has fabricated two BrahMos X missiles, and this new 600 km range missile might be tested between 26 and 28 October. The BrahMos X is a new extreme performance variant of the BrahMos missile, that will have a near hypersonic speed of more than Mach 4.5, that will make it more difficult to be intercepted by enemies interceptor missiles. As the BrahMos 2 hypersonic variant will be much costlier, the new BrahMos X will nearly match its performance at a much lesser price, and it will also have a very huge export potential. The BrahMos Aerospace is also working on a 1,500 km range BrahMos version, that will initially be a land-based variant, but once the system is proven, it will need just some modifications to fire from air and water. The chief of BrahMos Aerospace has said, that the 800 km range BrahMos extended range variant will also be tested by December, and the first Mach 5 capable BrahMos 2 hypersonic missile will be fully ready by 2024, while the Mach 7 capable BrahMos 2 will be ready by 2027. The chief scientist of Russia's State Research Center of the Russian Federation concerned CSRI Electropriba has said, that the Amor-class non-nuclear submarines offered to India under the Project 75I, will be equipped with state-of-the-art tools including advanced navigation and periscope systems. He also stressed that these systems had been upgraded in terms of their technical characteristics, and the periscope system offered to India is equipped with advanced thermal imager, a laser range finder, and an information processing system for the new component bases, as well as the operational characteristics of the system have also been revamped. The chairman of Kalyani Group has said, that there is a lot of upcoming requirement for smaller gas turbine engines for expendable target drones UAV small ships and patrol boats, and the company's focus with respect to engine technology is currently concentrated in this area. He also said, that the missing link in order to develop a fighter-class jet engine is the production partner, and several production partners are needed, and Kalyani Group is aiming to contribute by making products out of titanium and nickel alloys. He also informed, that the Bharat 155mm 39 caliber ultralight howitzer has recently returned from trials, and the 155mm ATAGS is going to sicken for trials for a third time. The indigenous light utility helicopter built by Hindustan Aeronautics is back in Ladakh sector, for conducting another round of trials, under which a modified tail rotor will be tested as per the request by the Indian Army. The Defence Ministry has already approved the order for 12 limited series helicopters, and HAL will deliver the first helicopter by December 2022. 
India's new rocket force might become the fourth service alongside the three conventional services of the Army Air Force and Navy, and the rocket force will be in charge of managing and operating land-based tactical battlefield ballistic missiles like the 150 km range Prahar missile, 500 km range Prale missile, Brahmos supersonic and nearby subsonic cruise missile, as well as the new mobile 2000 km range Agni Prime with conventional warhead. The rocket force will also break the slow production rate of Indian conventional ballistic missiles, since they were largely limited to the nuclear deterrence role till now.